Come on, God, man, I've been trying to make this dream come true. You done left me out here like this. And I was crying so hard that he just said, I didn't like hear a voice or nothing, but he spoke to me. And however, he said, if you get up, I'm going to take you places you ain't never been. Now, I was finna quit, so I said, skip it. I'm going to quit anyway. So I got in my car, I went to a pay phone, and I was going to call my dad. You remember back in the day when you could punch in a code and call your answering machine and get your messages? So I called, and I punched in the code, and he said, doop. He said, hey, Steve, this is Chuck Sutton with Showtime at the Apollo. We saw a tape of you. You're very funny. If you could get here Sunday night, uh, we'd love to put you on television. Call me back. Let me know if you can make it. So I hung the phone up. I'm crushed. Because my whole dream of being on TV, and I couldn't get to New York. I got $35. How am I going to get to New York? I can't make it. So I'm standing there at the phone booth, and tears just coming down my face. I said, God, so that must be a sign for me to go home. Because this is it. I ain't even got the money to go to the Apollo. My whole thing, I want to be on TV. I couldn't even make the dream come true. I'm just, I'm, I'm, this is the most messed up moment. And so I said, man, let me call this dude back and see if he said this Sunday. Because maybe he said next Sunday and I can hustle up a little bit of money or something. I don't know what I'm going to do, but let me just call him back. So I call him back. Steve, this is Chuck Sutton, Showtime at the Apollo. We saw a tape of yours. You're very, very funny. Look, we have an opening Sunday night at Showtime at the Apollo. If you can make it, we'd love to put you on TV. I say it's this Sunday. Before I hit the button, I heard, Doop! you have another message that wasn't there before. So I punched my code in. I listened to the second message. It said, Steve Harvey, this is Tom Soul from Comedy Caravan. I had, this was a Thursday. He said, I have a gig in Jacksonville, Florida on Friday night that pays $150. If you can get there Friday night, you'll make $150. So I, I called him back and I said, hey, Tom, did you get a gig away? He said, no, it's still available. He said, can you get there? I said, I'm in Pensacola, Florida. I'm three and a half hours away. So I drive to Jacksonville, Florida. And that night, I killed. I made the 150. The club owner said, man, you're funnier than the guy we hired. If you stay tomorrow night, I'm going to give you another $150. So now I got $300 now. So I get on the phone. I call Chuck Sutton. I said, hey, man, is the gig still available at Showtime at the Apollo? He said, well, we got one opening left. I said, I'll be there. So I called Eastern Airlines, who used to be open back then. They had a special for $99 going from Jacksonville, Florida to New York round trip. So I parked my car at the airport. I got it. Introduce his 
myself. I'm sitting there, another guy come in named Dwayne Johnson. Then this other dude walked in named Jamie Foxx. And I introduced myself. We don't know each other. Ain't none of us famous. It's 1991, man. They gave everybody the lineup. I was on the last show of the night. I don't go on to 11 at night. I done had this, this four pieces of chicken. I'm starving, man. That chicken done wore off. I'm nervous, man. I'm about to throw up. D.O. Hughley went downstairs. D.O. Hughley got booted off. Wayne Johnson got booted off. Jamie Foxx went down there and got booed. They booed Jamie. Then Jamie started singing. And then they started clapping. And Jamie had their ass. Then he went back to them jokes. And they got his ass. steps and I see Jamie sitting on the steps. I say, hey man, hang in there. He said, man, that ain't never happened to me before, man. This is crazy. This Jamie Foxx, man, one of the most talented people in all of comedy. And now, you don't even know how nervous I am. Man. I can't even. My breathing is shot because these dudes been booed. So I walk out. I had wrote this joke. Um, Mike Tyson had got in a fight in Harlem with this heavyweight named Mitch Green. Mike Tyson had hit the dude in the eye in the store. Now he was on the news, his eye was swollen. So the joke I wrote was, they was interviewing Mitch Green and he was telling everybody what happened, but his eye took over the interview. And I wrote this joke that his eye started talking and was just, I tell you what happened. The heavyweight champ's fist is coming towards my face. Look, man. 